Right, assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to a SHIB video update today. The last time I talked about SHIB is uh, is regarding this little bit of, um, what do you call that, uh, inverse head and shoulders on the 4-hour time frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you again. This was your resistance, resistance, resistance here, break up, move back, back down. And uh, if, if now this retest is actually successful, then the main te technical target you're looking for, SHIB, is to come up here to this uh, 14,000 or 1,400 actually. Uh, I'm in here for the long term, so for me short term doesn't really matter how you do it. I've said this before, I'm saying it again, that uh, long term is just very, very different opinion. Okay, Long term is more like uh, zoom out, go into the uh, one month time frame or probably go even to the uh, six months time frame and try to look at how the six months time frame looks like. If I go back into the six months time frame and I zoom out, wow, beautiful. You're trying to make a morning star right there. And um, even more important is that the prices are down and the prices are not to the upside. So zoom out, it's actually amazing. It's pretty cool. It's still cheap. But zoom in here into the uh, 15 minutes time frame and talk about 15 minutes time frame for the day traders and scalpers, whatever. Uh, this for you is what uh, I'm going to talk about. So you still have one more issue and uh, that's that's on the daily, okay? The issue on the daily is that I've told you that this is one year long resistance, okay? One touch, two, three. Anytime you touch it, you went down and you touch this again, you went down. So it's not different anymore and I told you this before in the in the previous videos you did touch it again and you did go down right so even right now even though you might have a technical target up here it's going to be in play when you break above here and retest then you have a very good chances of pushing to the upside I will say get some shib when you see a break like this and you might actually end up having a benefit here and we could be talking about a 42 percent move to the upside from shib so it's possible i do believe that it's it's really realistic that ship can pump 42 percent because we've seen solana moving up we've seen xrp moving up all of a sudden of course uh what else uh so so the different coins have been moving up ship was one coin that we haven't seen it moving just yet even dogecoin did move a little bit back some few days ago but right now Shib is the one. But unfortunately, the problem here is again this resistance. You touch it, you went down. So the question that I, I'm going to pose again is, are we breaking above here? If we break above here, go up, back test, boom. I will say uh, stop loss around here, you know, 950 area or actually 930s. Okay, 930 is going to be a, a good stop loss for me right over there. Even better is, is this one here, but that's going to be way too far. And this could be a very, very good stop loss right there. And you could be looking at a uh, ship moving, try to move to the upside on, on a perfect scenario. Again, the pattern is this. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, move up, break, retest, and come here, break this again, retest, and then boom, you have that technical target. Easy peasy, right? So I'm going to see you the next one. Allah Hafiz.